Hi folks, I'm so high on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today was the first day of Google I.O. where they announced Android M. Now you can grab the Android M preview if you have a Nexus 5, Nexus 6, or Nexus 9. I've been actually playing with it on my Nexus 6 for the last couple hours. Let me give you a quick brief tour of some of the changes. Let's go do this, baby. All right, if you install the M preview, you'll find that your Android version has changed to version M. And if you've hit M a bunch of times, um, it will actually not give you a game. So there's no game. No game, no pain. All right, probably the biggest change with Android M uh, is probably the app drawer. If you open the app drawer, you'll find um, your mostly used apps on top, and you'll see an alphabetical order of all of your apps. Now, Google has really gone from horizontal for many years to vertical. Uh, I actually kind of don't like it. I just don't think it makes sense. You're going left and right with the home screen, and then you go into the app drawer. Now you're going up and down. I just feel like it's less intuitive. Uh, I actually like the horizontal. But now there is a search function, so you can actually search for apps. If you have a ton of apps, this may help. But overall, I wish they actually provided an option so you can go left and right or up and down. All right, that's probably not a huge deal since you can go ahead and install Nova Launcher and make it left right again. The next biggest thing I found was with the calendar. Uh, the calendar now shows automatic images. For example, uh, I'm going to take my dog Bowie for a haircut. Uh, it automatically shows some scissors. Also, I'm going to Korea and Thailand uh, this summer. It shows the airplane pictures and photos of Seoul and Thailand. Also even shows my hotel that I'm staying in, Seoul. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Also on my flight back, it will actually show Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, it's a little bit of change, but it's kind of cool. All right, next up is the simplified uh, volume controls. Now there is actually a drop down. You can easily uh, change your notifications, your music, media, and also your alarms. I know many of you didn't like the Lollipop version, so this is a little bit more simplified. Now with the Do Not Disturb Priority Only feature, now you can actually select uh, which things are priority to you, such as uh, events, messages, calls, uh, and also you can choose which contacts. You can say all contacts, or you can select only people in my contacts list can call me, or maybe just your starred contacts in your list. This is gonna be great if you get a lot of calls from telemarketers, um, you know, whenever they call, you can set it on priority mode and they'll just straight go to voicemail. That's pretty cool. Also, there is even more advanced features. If you go into app settings, you can actually set which apps are priority. For example, I use my Twitter a lot and I want to make sure I get those messages along with my other priority uh, notifications. So you can set any apps as priority. Of course, one of the big things with Android M is app permissions. You'll be able to control what your apps can access, such as your contacts, uh, phone, location, all that good stuff. Now there's even uh, data usage where you can actually see the data usage based on app. And also you can restrict uh, apps using your background data on your cellular network. Sometimes you install these games and you know sometimes they're rogue apps that actually use a lot of bandwidth uh, while you don't know it. You can actually just set it so they won't use any data. This is gonna be great for those of you who need stricter control of your bandwidth because your bandwidth limited. Also there's battery usage per app basis now. You can actually see uh, per app there's a graph and also if you click on the graph it will actually tell you uh, what the app is using, including Wi-Fi, cellular data, screen, all that good stuff. So it's more of an advanced way of viewing how much battery uh, your app is using and also what it is using to drain that battery. In advanced menu in app settings, you can also set your default apps. For example, before every time you opened a YouTube link, sometimes it will ask you, do you want to open Chrome? Do you want to open the internet? Do you want to open YouTube app? You don't have to do that anymore. Before, you would also have to go into settings apps and then you have to clear the defaults, find the app. The process was very confusing. Now Google actually selects the default apps for you, but the good thing is that you can go into settings apps. You can easily change your browser, phone, SMS. Other defaults are much easier to change. So I think that's a small improvement that could be huge. Before, I would actually have to install an app to clear defaults for different apps. Now it's all baked into the settings. All right, one of the coolest features on the Android M is the long press home button, which takes you to Google Now. You'll be able to easily launch Google Now from anywhere, whether you're on Twitter, uh, playing Battle Cats or whatever. 
you'll be able to easily pull up Google now from everywhere. Now Google is going to include more features. For example, you're talking on Twitter to somebody about Warriors and when you go ahead and hold down the home button, uh, it's gonna actually pull up some Google cards like a Warrior score, uh, you know, maybe even tell the future uh, who's gonna win the NBA Finals by using Google's algorithm for future telling. All right, if you go into settings, now there's a dedicated settings for Google. It just says Google. You can go ahead and access all your connected apps to your Google account. Uh, Google Fit, remote location, and more stuff. I mean, Google has been adding so many services. Uh, it's really hard to access them all, but uh, now you can actually do it all straight from your phone. A lot more easier, more organized. So this should help you if you use a lot of Google services. All right, some extra features you can mess with. If you want to save some battery life and also make the settings UI look darker, uh, you can go ahead and enable developer settings by hitting on the build number a bunch of times. And then in developer options, you'll have an option to change the theme to light or dark or automatic. Now I've been playing with automatic, but it doesn't actually do anything. It just stays on white, but maybe it's for future development. There's also other features like system UI it doesn't actually work. So there's a lot of features that are still being worked on. For example, a copy and paste clipboard is still missing. That was announced this morning. Also Google Pay is missing. I mean, these are all being worked on. The developer M preview edition is exactly what it is. It's a preview, it's a beta version. Uh, whatever Google was working on, they just compiled it and gave it to the developers. So it's really for developers, but I am using it as a daily driver. Uh, performance is actually pretty good. Uh, when I first loaded up, it was all syncing all this extra stuff from Google services. So it was really slow and laggy and I let it sit for an hour. Now it's really fast. I'm getting about 50,000 on Antutu. Uh, it's not spectacular. I don't think there's actually a ton of performance improvements from Lollipop to M Preview. I mean, we saw a huge improvement from KitKat to Lollipop. Of course, Lollipop to M, I just think it's more of an incremental. Now in Google I.O., they did say that uh, Google Preview M will give you a ton more better battery life almost twice. Now that's when your phone is off. Um, so it actually puts your phone into a deep sleep state. So it won't sleepwalk on you and drain all the battery. Um, this can be useful uh, when your phone is off, obviously, but it's not gonna actually change your battery times when your phone is on. But it should definitely save battery life uh, when you're not using your phone, uh, when you're sleeping, uh, when you're driving. But I'll definitely have to test it out more. Overall, if you do have a Nexus device, um, you can use it as a daily driver. With Lollipop last year, there was a lot of incompatibility issues in the beginning. Uh, with M, actually every app I've put on it uh, works out of the box, so pretty good stuff. If you do have a Nexus device, you can go ahead and follow my Lollipop manual update tutorial and install this. It's exactly the same. Now, if you have a Nexus 6, don't forget to use my fix. It's also on there. Use M Fastboot instead of regular Fastboot to flash the system image file. If you run into that error, just look at my page carefully. There's a fix for it. I put it there. Other than that, uh, it's a great day. Nexus M is here. Well, the M preview. I would say it's about 75% finished because it doesn't actually include uh, some of the major stuff that Google has announced today. So definitely check it out and don't forget to enter our G4 contest. Uh, it's going for another nine days now. It's been only a day. Also, I'll be giving out uh, LG Watch Urbane. Uh, this is the silver version. It's brand new, black leather band on there. Uh, uh, I actually like the silver version more. I was gonna swap it out and give this one out instead, but I can't give out old stuff. So anyway, contest for this one should come right after the G4 giveaway in 10 days. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, stay <laughs> on Android.